Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Sunday the 11th. Again, it's almost 3 o'clock. There's some definite threatening clouds. It was supposed to dump all day today, but it did not. So, let the dew and everything dry off. And we're going to take this. For the first time in 17 weeks, which works out to be um, 119 days, we're going to take the old iron out. Can you believe that? 17 weeks since I've taken this thing out? That's nuts. I did have her out here warming up a little bit. We'll get her going a little bit more while I'm getting, while I'm getting my gear and stuff on. So anyway, today we're going to take the iron for a little rip. Seventeen weeks, 119 days since I've ridden the poor old iron. <laughs> It's a uh, seven, yeah, exactly one week after I last rode the uh, Street Glide, I rode this. This was the last of my motorcycles that I rode. I don't know if I rode the uh, DR after that. I might have. That'll be the next acquisition. We'll sort that out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, the good old iron. Look at this road it's all but dry now look at this it's been nice and windy remember what we were telling you about the wind oh man does this feel awesome holy moly i can tell you one thing i have zero other than you know the quarter fairing knocking all the wind off my chest uh, you pretty much feel all the temperature out here It's dry. It's cool, but it's dry. <laughs> I keep looking for that six gear that's not there. Imagine that. Alrighty. I'm going to, uh, yesterday I took you guys west. Today we're going to do a little uh, eastbound traveling. Which is a little higher and a little colder so I think I have this a little backwards although you know up there by Winlock the way I go I get up there pretty high uh, on top of South Military Road <laughs> it's in the video I called it North Military but uh, you guys probably don't know where the heck I'm at anyway so it's just a name but anyway it feels fan freaking tastic to be on the iron it, uh, it is a considerably cooler ride than the uh, Street Glide, obviously. Smaller bike, less wind protection. I love how I see so much stuff turning green already. God, is it beautiful out here. I I'll say that a whole bunch of times. I do that in the springtime. I think I do that all the time, but you guys are probably used to it by now. <laughs> See how high that water was? Ooh, let's go down here to the trout hatchery. Oh yeah, that river is nice and high. We'll, we'll ride up on the ramp there on the way back. Some fishermen out there. Or the dike. I'm going to the ramp. stare at us wondering why in the world is there a motorcycle down at the boat ramp. Yeah, buddy. You see how fast that daggum river's going? That is something you do not want to get caught up in. Look, at, look how much uh, he's having to accelerate that boat to keep it keep it in place so it doesn't just drift away from where you're standing <laughs> yeah hey you remember one of the last rides I did last year I was walking down there there's them logs laying there 
that's uh that's probably about 10 feet 10 or more feet lower than what you see that water right now that's pretty sketchy huh boom 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 i love these old irons <laughs> they're so much fun <laughs> it's just one of those things you can never you know it's paid off it's mine heck it's been paid off for a long time and uh you know it doesn't cost me anything it's fun as heck to ride i would never get rid of this thing heck i could dang near sell it for what i paid for it it's crazy the value of these things how they hold their value good old harley davidson Well, somehow or another, I found myself down here at another hatchery. <laughs> Check this out, though. Look how full that water is. But look at this. I don't know where it's probably coming through. It's probably running something at the hatchery. But that's like a half pipe thing down there. Look at it. It's completely full. And the pipe itself is almost water solid coming through it. But look at this at the end where it skips out. Woo! -hoo. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Maybe this view will be a little bit better. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's really cool. Whew, that is scary. That is like a crazy amount of oh crazy amount of <laughs> watch. <laughs> watch where the heck I'm walking, I reckon crazy amount of water moving through that thing but I had you at the trout hatchery I don't know how many miles that is away but now this is the uh, salmon hatchery which I've taken you guys down here before I was just thinking <laughs> the other day or yesterday actually when I was walking out there I'm going how how many years ago was that that the uh, batteries went died in the in the fobs on this thing? And I'm trying to think. Okay, the street glides now uh, year and a half old. I know that like with the uh, and I think it even says that in the Harley schedule. I think they recommend you change your fob batteries once a year. I think Indian has the same schedule as well. So probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have a cache of those batteries around. Well, when you're driving out here and I'm coming down the road and you kind of see off to my right, that's the ridge I'm riding on. It's all the way across there. And I, I, is that the one right there? Oh, I think it's where that waterfall is. Or maybe that's it right there. Remember I walked up to the edge of that thing and looked down? Ooh, that was creepy looking. What was I on? Like, oh, I was on the uh, the black, the triple black GSA. That's when I got down here and it started pouring down rain on me. And I had to, had to bail out. Storm was coming. I had to outrun it. I got out of it, though. I need to start rolling my way back. It's almost four o'clock. See, I'm up on that ridge that you can see from way down there. I'm up on that ridge now. In some places you can look back and you can see the see the spillway back there, but I want to kill myself driving down the road here. Tell you one thing, that bubble that that thing produces on a day like this is, uh, is definitely worth its weight in gold. 
I get asked about that thing all the time, and I don't know if Harley even still makes it or not, but it was called the Headlamp Visor, and it was from Harley Davidson. And uh, it was, uh, I think it originally sold for like three or four hundred bucks, and they, uh, they had it on sale for one ninety nine. And uh, I bought it, and then shortly after that, everybody's asking about it, and then it looked like it, they discontinued it. But anyway, I, I've seen if you do the same search, search for Harley headlamp visor. Um, it shows up on Amazon. I actually seen some on Amazon for like forty something dollars, and it looked like the same kit. It was just a, you know, a, an off-brand uh, copy of it. Now look at this. Look at the nice weather coming. That's coming this way. But by the time it makes it here, it's uh, 4:05 now. By the time it makes it here, it'll be too late. working on this vlog chit chat with the little woman scratching the belly of one of the old dogs that comes up and bothers me while I'm sitting there <laughs> but that's all right anyway pretty much from here on out is uh, driving through Toledo I've done that a whole bunch of times uh, including yesterday so uh, with my frozen little phalanges I'm gonna just bust through town head up the hill and, and uh, get this thing put away start working on today's vlog it's kind of in the middle of something else it was a motor vlog thing but <sighs> anyway all right so I did <laughs> I did stop I didn't make it all the way through I wanted to top this thing off with gas and I put my these crazy gauntlet style climbs on one more click of the key oh I didn't reset my trip meter here all right so she's starting off with a nice fresh tank of whoa, tank of super I actually did a I stopped early before I took off, but I just, uh, I just want to, you know, this time of year, you want to go ahead and keep her topped off all the time, and I don't have, uh, I usually keep some treated, uh, super at home, my pocket's all zipped up, don't want to be losing a phone or a wallet or anything, all right. Oh man, I should have wore these to begin with. I don't even feel the air out here. But they have that slight little movement, you know, between the leather. It's very minor with the climbs, but you know, they're they're big and kind of gaudy. <laughs> it's starting to get brighter out here. I'm starting to see more little blue patches. There's a bunch of clear skies coming this way, but I, I won't make it a Uh, it'll be by the time those are here it'll be too dark to ride and too cold so from where I left yet you yesterday on the street glide on the ride I'm gonna leave you there today with the iron we will uh, chit chat with you at the house all right bundle up tuck in and head up the hill <laughs> Man, what a difference good pair of gloves makes my hands not only are they not cold but they're warming up and I just went flying up that thing like a freeway wow I'm telling you gloves makes all the difference in the world don't go cheap on the gloves and if you have the good gloves <laughs> use them it'll be a knucklehead well, hello there YouTube made it back <laughs> <laughs> with the with the old iron man it's crazy it's putting them gloves on actually warm my hands up my hands feel absolutely perfectly fine that's crazy i don't know why i didn't leave with those things know, you just don't have the same feel with those more gauntlet, gauntlet style gloves than than the others but they're not that bad that it wouldn't have been worth, 
wouldn't have been worth the warmth instead of suffering through that. But anyway, again today, I uh, I did a lot of vlogging. So it's been kind of a moto vlog weekend. It's been a Harley moto vlog weekend. No, that's uh, good though. It was very fun. I come back and I walk in and I, something smells really good. Kelly done made up a batch of cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Must have said it was kind of a wintry day. It was a baking day. Yeah, it's cookie day. Yeah. Oh man, I done already had myself a couple of them. Yeah, I was just in a here, <laughs> just letting the Harley cool off here a little bit, and I'm gonna roll her in the shop and start working on my my Viadios here. That neighbor with the van has come up and down like. Oh, I know. Since, I mean, when I was leaving with the bike and when I come back, they're just back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, they've already been back and forth about four times that I saw. Yeah. And then they want us to pay a portion of the road that we use twice a day, you know. So, crazy. But anyway, with the little birdies all up in the tree there, we're going to we're gonna call it a night. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys very, very much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Monday or Tuesday. Heck yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed all the Harley riding this weekend. Yeah. It was nice to get them all out and blow the cobwebs off. Yeah, get them ready for the season. Heck yeah. Whoa, birds. But it, all them <laughs> birds are going up in that, in that tree there. They're I mean, a whole there. bunch of them. Oh, they, they sound so good in the mornings. I love that. But anyway, that's it. We're going to roll out. All right. You guys take care. Yep. We'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye-bye now.